Dear students, Namaste and welcome back to a new mathematics session. In the previous session, we have discussed problems from exercise 10.1 and 10.2. Hope you have revised well. In today's session, we shall discuss problems from exercise 10.3. Let's move on to the topic. Now, let's recall all the statements or the results what we have learned so far. The first statement was equal chords of a circle subtend equal angles at the center. Second one, if the angles made by the chords of a circle at the center are equal, then the chords must be equal. Third one, the perpendicular from the center of a circle to any chord bisects the chord. Next one, the line which is drawn from the center of a circle to bisect a chord must be perpendicular to the chord. Next one, there is one and only one circle passing through three given non-collinear points. Next one, two equal chords of a circle are at equal distance from the center. Next one, chords at equal distance from the center of a circle are equal in length. Next one, equal arcs subtend equal angles at the center. Angles in the same segment of a circle are equal. Angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. The sum of the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degree. If the pair of opposite angles of a quadrilateral has sum of 180 degree, then the quadrilateral will have will be cyclic. So these are the major statements we have studied. And you have to by heart all these statements not only by hearting you must be able to identify the angles and lengths which is mentioned in the statements so if you study this one properly it will be easy for you to use it and solve the exercise questions next we shall discuss exercise 10.3 first question draw different pair of circles how many points does each pair have in common what is the maximum number of common points First of all, we have to draw different pair of circles. Then we have to observe those circles and we have to find out how many points does each pair have in common. The common points we have to write in both the circles. And what is the maximum number of common points? We have to observe all the diagrams which we have drawn and compare the common points and we have to write the maximum number of common points. So, first let's draw the circles in different possible ways. First one, two circles like this, it will come. They are not touching anywhere. And the second one is they are just touching at one point. And third one, one circle is inside another one. Here also they are touching at one particular point. And next possibility is they are overlapping. Some portion is overlapping here, means they are intersecting at two points, P and Q. So these are the four possible ways. And let's see the common points in the first case. Here the two circles are, are there and they are not meeting any point. Because of that, they are not having any common point. And in the second case, if you consider they are meeting at one point. So, common point is one. And in the third case also same thing. Even though one is inside another one, but they are meeting at one particular point. So, here one common point. And the last one if you consider here is quite visible they are intersecting at two points p and q so two common points we are having then the last question when you check what is the maximum number of common points here when you check no common point one common point here also one common point here two common points so the maximum number of common points is here is two two points in common between two circles Next, we shall discuss question number two. Suppose you are given a circle, give a construction to find its center. The meaning of the question is, if it is given to your circle without center, how will you find out the center? That is what the question. So here, there is a statement which you must know, and we have already learned this one. The perpendicular bisector of any code will pass through the center of the circle. Means the perpendicular bisector of any code will pass through the center of the circle. You know what is code of the circle. Code means the end points of a line segment falls on the circle. And if you draw the bisector of that code, perpendicular bisector of that code, 
that perpendicular bisector will pass through the center. That way we can find out the center. So let's try it. There are some steps. So following are the steps to find the center of a circle. First of all, you must draw the circle. So we have drawn the circle. Not that there is no center is marked. So we are going to find out the center. Where is the center? Just to recall the statement. The perpendicular bisector of any code will pass through the center of the circle. Any code in the sense, first of all, we must draw the code. Take any two different codes, A, B and C, D of the circle and draw the perpendicular bisector of these codes. Let's take the two codes. Here we have taken A, B as one code and C, D as another code. And next we are going to draw the perpendicular bisector of these two codes. You know how to draw the perpendicular bisector. You already learned this one in the smaller classes. By taking your compass, take more than half of length of AB, fix at one point and draw arc up and down. And by using the same radius, fix at B, cut those arcs and join that intersection of arcs. So that is the construction of perpendicular bisector. So let's try it here. Only steps of construction is asked. So let's see how we are drawing. First, we have drawn two arcs from a particular point and then using the same radius, keeping the compass on another end, you are cutting that arcs, first two arcs which you have drawn. Then join the intersection of these two arcs. So the line goes this way and this is the midpoint of the line segment AB. Same way we can proceed here also. Take more than half of length of CD by using your compass. Fix at C. Draw one arc above CD and another arc below CD. Using the same radius, fix the compass at D. Cut those arcs which you have drawn. Then as before, join the intersection of arcs. Let's try. We have drawn two arcs both the, from both the ends and point of intersection of those two arcs marked here and just to draw the line and you can see here both the perpendicular bisectors are meeting at this point so here the perpendicular bisector of any code will pass through the center one perpendicular bisector if you draw of course it is passing through the center only but we are unable to identify where it is that point for that purpose only, we are drawing one more perpendicular bisector. Surely that perpendicular bisector also will pass through the center. So the point of intersection of both the perpendicular bisectors we can consider as the center. So that is the last step. Let these perpendicular bisectors meet at O. Now O is the center of the circle. These two perpendicular bisectors are meeting at that particular point that point we can consider as the center of the circle hope it is clear so here the steps of constructions are asked what you supposed to do is by using these steps of constructions and this explanation you just draw a circle in a piece of paper and draw two codes a b and c d then draw the perpendicular bisectors of a b and c d let these perpendicular bisectors meet at one point that point you have to mark it as center O. So you can just try this question in a rough sheet of paper construction part. Next we shall discuss question number three. If two circles intersect at two points prove that their centers lie on the perpendicular bisector of the common code. If two circles intersect at two points this diagram we have drawn while we were explaining the first question. Prove that their centers, the center of centers of those two circles lie on the perpendicular bisector of the common code. So let's take the two circles with center O and O dash and the point of intersection A and B respectively. So first two circles we have drawn the two circles and their common point of intersection one is here and another one is here. Let's take these two points as A and B. Then mark the centers O and O dash. We have to join AB and if after joining AB if you observe AB is the code of the circle centered at O. If I draw AB and consider the red circle AB is the code of the circle with center O. And again if you consider the blue circle 
AB is the chord of the circle with center O dash means AB is common for both the circles O and O dash means AB is the common chord for both circles with center O and O dash. In the previous question we have learned that the perpendicular bisector of the chord will pass through the center. So let's join AB and if I draw the perpendicular bisector of this AB that perpendicular bisector will pass through the center of the circle. First I have considered the red circle means circle with center O. Then if I consider this red circle AB is the code and if I draw the perpendicular bisector of AB surely it will pass through the center. Then I am considering the blue circle and if I draw the perpendicular bisector of the same chord AB, it will pass through the center of the blue circle that is O dash. And when you observe here, this line, it is a straight line. And this line means the perpendicular bisector of AB is passing through both the centers O and O dash. So here AB is also the chord of the circle with center O dash and perpendicular bisector of AB we have seen it is also passing through O dash. The centers of these circles lie on the perpendicular bisector of common code. When you observe the entire perpendicular bisectors, we can conclude that the centers of the circles here O and O dash, these two centers lie on the perpendicular bisector of the common code AB. Hope it is clear. There is no geometrical proof here, only through construction we are just showing the statement. Next we shall discuss problems from exercise 10.4. First question, two circles of radii 5 cm and 3 cm intersect at two points and the distance between their centers is 4 cm. Find the length of the common code. Here two circles, radius 5 cm, another radius is 3 cm, intersect at two points and the distance between their centers is given 4 cm. Let's visualize the question. Two circle, one is a bigger circle with radius 5 cm. So bigger circle center is O, radius OA is marked 5 cm. Smaller circle center is O dash, radius is 3 cm, that is O dash A is 3 cm. Distance between their centers is 4 cm, means O and O dash are the centers. Distance between O and O dash is 4 cm. AB is the common code. These are the given conditions. So let's write it. Two circles with center O and O dash. A and B are the point of intersections. When we join AB, AB is a common code. AB is a common code in the sense AB is the code for the circle with the center O. AB is the code for the circle with center O dash as well. So that's why it is called a common code. Then radius OA. We have given that is 5 cm. Next is radius O dash A, that is the radius of the smaller circle, that is 3 cm. Distance between the centers O, O dash is given 4 cm. Next, in triangle A, O, O dash, we have to be careful from here onwards. Let's recall the Pythagoras theorem what you have learned in the smaller classes. Pythagoras theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse, hypotenuse in the sense, the longest side of a right triangle that is the hypotenuse here it is c the square of the hypotenuse is the sum of the squares of other two sides means c square is equal to a square plus b square that is pythagoras theorem once again in a right triangle very important in a right triangle square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides but we are going to use the converse of pythagoras theorem means in any triangle if this condition is satisfied means means square of the longer side is sum of the squares of other two sides means the longest side opposite angle is 90 degree. If this relation is satisfied in any triangle then we can say that the longest side here is C is the longest side longest side opposite angle will be 90 degree. So here there is a triangle in this triangle the longest side is 5 centimeter. And other two sides are 4 and 3. So let's check whether these three numbers or these three sides forms a right triangle or not by using this relation. That is 
5 square is equal to 4 square plus 3 square. If this relation is satisfied, then we can say that this is a right triangle. Let's check. Satisfied in the sense, left side and right side, you should get same answer. So, three sides we have taken. Remember, the longest side you have to take separately. The other two sides we have to take together. Then, 5 square is 25, 4 square is 16, 3 square is 9. When you add, 25 is equal to 25. Means, left and right, we have got the same answer. Means, this is a right triangle. Means, AOO dash is a right triangle. So, if it is a right triangle, you have to find out which angle is 90 degree. We have already discussed here, 90 degree angle is the angle which is opposite to the longest side. Here, longest side is 5. So, 5 means OA. Longest side opposite angle means this is the angle. So, this angle is 90 degree means O, O dash O or A, O dash O. This angle is 90 degree. So, let's write it. A, O, O dash is a right, ang right triangle, right angle that O dash. So, this angle is 90 degree. Then, perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle bisects the code. This is what we have learned, the statement. Perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle bisects the code. Let's connect it with this one. Means here you can see we have proved this angle is 90 degree. This angle 90 degree means O, O dash is the perpendicular. O, O dash is the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the code. Because according to our given condition, O is the center and A, B is the code. We proved this angle is 90 degree. When we connect these three, we can say that perpendicular drawn from the center O to the code A, B bisects the code. Bisects the code in the sense this O dash will be the midpoint of A, B. O dash will be the midpoint of AB in the sense if A O dash 3 centimeter means O dash B also 3 centimeter. So we are asked to find out the length of the code AB and we have now proved that O dash is the midpoint of AB. O dash is the midpoint of AB in the sense A O dash is 3 centimeter means O dash B also 3 centimeter. Means length of AB means 3 plus 3. Or else we can say that length of the code AB is 2 times the length of AO dash. That is 2 times 3. That is equal to 6 cm. Next we have to discuss question number 2. If two equal codes of a circle intersect within the circle, prove that the segments of one code are equal to corresponding segments of the other code. Given condition is two equal codes. They are intersecting within the circle. Let's visualize the question. There is a circle with a center O. Two codes A, B and C, D are mentioned here. And uh, their lengths are same. Means A, B is equal to C, D. They are intersecting at point X. You have to prove that the segments of one code are equal to corresponding segments of other code. They are intersecting at X. Means A, X and D, X are one pair of corresponding segments. Cx and Bx are the another pair of corresponding segments of the, those codes. So we have to prove Ax is equal to Dx, Cx is equal to Bx. Let's write the given conditions. A, B and C, D are the two codes intersecting at X. A, B equal to C, D equal codes. That is a given condition. Then we have to draw OM perpendicular A, B construction. Then ON perpendicular, ON perpendicular CD. Two perpendiculars we have to construct. OM perpendicular to the first code. ON perpendicular to the second code. So here AM is equal to BM is equal to half of AB. AM is equal to BM is equal to half of AB. The reason is perpendicular drawn from the center of a circle to a code bisects the code. We have already drawn this as perpendicular OM. This OM means perpendicular drawn from the center to the code. Center to the code. So perpendicular drawn from the center to the code will bisect the code. Means M is the midpoint. M is the midpoint in the sense AM and BM will be equal. AM and BM will be equal to half of the total length of AB. That is what it is written. Again, another line another code if you consider dn and cn n is a midpoint dn and cn they are equal because on is the perpendicular drawn from the center to the code 
because of that n is the midpoint so dn and cn are equal they are equal to half of the total length cd so ab is equal to cd is the given condition once again we have to take then we have to multiply half on both sides 1 by 2 we multiplied on both sides because we have to bring to this a m b m so half of ab is equal to half of cd half of ab is first we will take this one a m a m and b m are both half of ab only but in this case we will take the first one a m so a m is equal to in the second one we will take d n so both are half of cd only but we will take d n so a m is equal to d n we have got equation number one now we will take by using the same equation we will put bm and cn that is bm or mb is equal to cn that is equation number two so once again half of ab is equal to half of cd is the statement for this here two lengths are given first we will take this pair am and dn second we will take bm and cn so we have got equation number one and equation number two then triangle omx and onx these two triangles we will take we have to prove they are congruent for that angle omx omx and angle onx are equal as per our construction they are 90 degree ox is equal to ox is common for both next is om is equal to on om and on are equal because ab and cd are equal codes it is given to us equal codes are equidistant from the center this om is the distance of code ab from the center on is the distance of code cd from the center so equal codes are equidistant from the center so om is equal to on therefore triangle omx is congruent to triangle onx since there is a 90 degree and hypotenuse is taken rhs congruence rule we have to use Therefore, Mx is equal to Nx. They are the corresponding parts of congruent triangle. Label it as equation number 3. Once again, let's recall what we have to prove. Ax is equal to Dx we have to prove. So, by using this equation number 1, 2 and 3, we have to bring to Ax and Dx. Again, Cx and Bx, they are equal we have to prove. So, first we will go with Ax equal to Dx. For that, we have to add 1 and 3. 1 and 3 if you add AM plus MX. That is AM plus MX is equal to DN plus NX. You can see here AM plus MX, DN plus NX. AM and MX if you add, you will get AX. And DN and NX if you add, you will get DX. First part is over. Subtracting 2 and 3. 2 and 3 if you subtract, MP or BM minus MX. BM minus MX is equal to CN minus NX. So you can check here. BM minus MX. Total length BM, MX reduce means you will get BX. Then total length CN, if you reduce NX, we will get CX. So BX is equal to CX. That is also proved. So both the parts we have proved. Finally, we can write the conclusion. Therefore, Ax is equal to Dx and Bx is equal to Cx. Hence the proof. Next, we shall discuss question number 3. If two equal codes of a circle intersect within the circle, prove that the line joining the point of intersection to the center makes equal angles with the codes. If two equal codes of a circle intersect within the circle, just like the previous question, given condition is two equal codes, they are intersecting within the circle. So let's take the diagram, circle with center O, two equal codes AB and CD, they are intersecting at X, OM we have drawn perpendicular to AB, ON we have to draw perpendicular to CD. So let's write these steps, AB and CD equal codes intersecting at X, AB is equal to CD, that is the given condition. OM perpendicular AB and ON perpendicular CD we have drawn as per our construction. Take the two triangles in triangle OMX and ONX. OMX and ONX if you take. Angle OMX equal to angle ONX. OMX and ONX are equal because both 90 degree. 
as per our construction we have drawn that one that is 90 degree both 90 degree ox is equal to ox there is a common side for both the triangles ox is a common side so they are equal next one is om is equal to on om and on are equal because om and on are the distance of this code ab and cd from the center so equal codes are equidistant from the center om is equal to on we have written next triangle omx is similar congruent to triangle onx triangle omx is congruent to triangle onx reason since there is a 90 degrees used we can say that by using rhs rule these two triangles are congruent if these two triangles are congruent their corresponding parts are equal that is angle oxm oxm is equal to angle oxn they are equal therefore we can say that the line joining the point of intersection to the center makes equal angles with the codes line joining point of intersection to the center line joining point of intersection means x line joining to the center is ox makes equal angles with the codes means this angle and this angle are equal that is angle o x m and angle o x n are equal we have proved hence the proof next we shall discuss question number four if a line intersects two concentric circles concentric circle means circles with the same center and different radii with center O at A, B, C and D, prove that A, B is equal to C, D. There is a diagram. There is a concentric circle with center O and uh, these circles meet at the lines at A, B, C and D. We have to prove that A, B is equal to C, D. There is a construction part. Let's draw a perpendicular O, M to the line A, D. So, the new diagram will be like this. We have drawn a perpendicular OM to the given line. And let's consider the two circles separately. In the given figure, BC is code of smaller circle. BC is the code of the smaller circle. And AD is the code of bigger circle. When you consider the bigger circle, AD is the code. Code, you know that the line segment whose endpoints are on the circumference of the circle. When you consider the smaller circle, BC is the code. When you consider the bigger circle, AD is the code. We know that the perpendicular drawn from the center of a circle bisect the code. We have drawn already the perpendicular as per our construction. OM is perpendicular to BC and OM is perpendicular to AD as well. So BM is equal to AC. OM is perpendicular to BC means M is the midpoint. So BM is equal to MC, question number 1. AM is equal to MD. When you consider the bigger circle, AD is the code. OM is the perpendicular. Means M is the midpoint in the sense AM is equal to MD. Question number 2. 2 minus 1. If you subtract 2 and 1, AM minus BM is equal to MD minus MC. AM, this is AM, AM minus BM is equal to mt minus mc so from the total length am if bm is removed means we will get ab from the total length md if mc is removed means we will get cd so ab is equal to cd this is what we have to prove hence the proof dear students today we have solved questions from exercise 10.3 and first three questions from exercise 10.4 Hope it is clear for you all. I request all the students to solve these questions independently in a sheet of paper. While solving, if you have any doubt, please note it and keep. We will discuss it during the online session. Thank you for watching.